Hello everyone. In this video we'll be synthesizing phenylphthalein. I suspect that you, like me, have seen NerdRage's great video on luminol. We're going to borrow a part of his luminol synthesis and make phenylphthalein instead. So to perform this experiment, follow NerdRage's video up to the point that you make phthalic anhydride, and then stop. Here's what I made by following his instructions. We will not be needing anything close to this amount. If you wish to just purchase a small amount of phthalic anhydride, you can get it at chemkitdepot.com. Okay, let's get started. First, weigh out 100 milligrams of phthalic anhydride. Then, weigh out 100 milligrams of phenyl. A quick safety note. Phenyl is a poison, so be sure to wear proper safety gear and wash your hands thoroughly after performing this experiment. Also, I'm putting the cart before the horse, as I have a video almost done on how to make phenyl from mandolin. I should have that out soon, so please be patient. Okay, moving on. Add the phthalic anhydride to a test tube. Then add the phenyl. Mix them up thoroughly, and then we're going to add three drops of concentrated sulfuric acid to the test tube. Now, with a small torch, we will heat the mixture carefully until everything melts together. The mixture will turn a dark red color. Be careful not to overheat and decompose the phthalic anhydride or the phenylphthalein. Agitate the test tube as best you can to be sure that everything is thoroughly mixed. After the test tube is cooled, add 5 milliliters of water and break up the solid chunk as best you can. Now make up a weak solution of sodium hydroxide and water. Then slowly add small amounts of the solution while stirring it. Keep adding the hydroxide solution until all the phenylphthalein has dissolved. This can take several minutes of stirring. When the phenylphthalein has dissolved, take a dropper and add sulfuric acid drop by drop until the solution goes clear. And there you have it, a solution of phenylphthalein. So let's go test it out. Okay, here's a small beaker with some distilled water in it. Now we add our phenylphthalein solution. For our base, we will make sodium hydroxide in situ by adding a small piece of sodium metal to the beaker. As you can see, the solution goes from a clear to a pink, then to a dark pink as the sodium dissolves in the water. If we add a drop of acid and mix, we'll get back to a clear solution. When done, Place a leftover phenolphthalein solution in an airtight bottle for storage. A little goes a long way, so it should last you a long time. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Nerd Rage for all the time and effort he puts in his videos. See you next time.